and a Tuesday. So we're playing Morrowind. Well, open MW as the case may be. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing? Well, um, suppose nothing better to reacclimate myself to the whole streaming thing than uh, going back to what I do. And what I do is uh, play this game like, um, well, like everyone else before me. So, uh, I can honest. Oh yeah, I remember what I what I was doing now. Uh, the wise woman uh, said that I need to kill Ulath Pal and his supporters, Ahaz, Ranabi, and Ashuahe. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, anywho. It's, a uh, Super MW time. Let's go. Let's, uh, so, um... Ashu hehehe, <laughs> ahaz and Renabi. Renabi, Ashu hehehe, <laughs> that's the Ashkan, an Amu, Masapal. Alright. <laughs> Hello, Arthurin. Alright. Oh, look at him. All buffed and stuff. So, since I'm gonna have to kill him, something tells me I'm going to need the paralysis. Right. <clears throat> you are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. No one cares about that. Make us tired, go away. Don't like you. You would lose. We've chosen your death, Imperial. Go away, I'm tired of listening to you. Alright. He's paralyzed, and with the paralysis, comes death. <laughs> My journal has been updated. <laughs> Weakness to fire on target. Weakness to poison on target. Fortify intelligence. Constant effect, shield, 10 points. Constant effect, fortify attribute, agility. Five points. Yeah, I'm going to take the shield one just because that looked nice when he was wearing it. I don't know. Right, so that's one. Ember hand. What was the other one? The bitter hand. Eh, those don't weigh very much. I'll take them just for uh, shits and giggles. Let's see. I have slain one of the war loving. Yes. Perhaps. Um, it would have been impossible to have friendly dealings or uh, their leaders anyway. Okay. That's one. You. You also have a constant effect. Of course you do. Alright. Daedric Crescent. You have slain one of my people. You must pay with your life. It is a good sword. I'll give it that. <laughs> Ah, there it is. The Mountain Spirit. I'll take that. That's a very uh, a pricey a bit of armor. That's a cheap restore health. That's fine. That's okay. You. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's try this again. Um, taunt. 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 That does it. Okay. See if we taunt him first if it makes a difference. Probably not, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh yeah, if I talk to him he says I killed one of his people. Alright, okay. So I guess we just uh
Yeah. Let's just do this. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't paralyze him, so he's blocking. Well, he was blocking. Now his shield is broken. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh no, I'm absolutely not going to qualify for um, awesome games and quick. Those people are insane in the best possible way. And yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Ahaz and Ulath Pal. Yes, I have slain one of your people. You need to stop buffing. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, so let's not talk to any of them until we talk to the wise woman. This one. <laughs> and the supporters are dead. We may consider the Nerevarine prophecies and how you might be named the Era Beninsum Nerevarine. Nerevarine prophecies. Now, with the Lothbell and the supporters out of the way, it's a simple matter of, uh, to be named Nerevereen. All you need to do is persuade Gulakan Han Hamu to become the Ashkan of the... Blah, blah, blah. Seek him in his Gulak Yurt. Be prepared, however. He's not the material one... Um, he's not the material one would choose when looking uh, to be made Ashkan. He may be difficult to persuade. Okay. Walk with virtue, I mean, people like money, right? <laughs> Can always bribe them. <laughs> Hello, Shay. Uh, not this one. This one. Yes, Alfred. You. What do you want of me, no matter what Miranai says, I'm not interested. I don't want to be Ashkan. He doesn't want. Yes, I recognize this. Ahaz wore that amulet. Sanit kills out of fire. Ahaz had it from his father, and Ahaz's father had it from uh, Kin Kinitunila, and Kinitunila had from Sanit Kill, a great witch warrior. But what has that to do with my wanting to be an Ashkan? <laughs> Show the amulet and make a little speech. Give Sanit Kill's heart a fire and make a little speech. Thank you. Your lesson is clear. Oh, we <laughs> we don't get even get to know the speech that we give. We just give him the amulet and away we go. Nice. <laughs> it is the amulet that gives courage in battle. And it is the idea of the amulet that gives confidence to the tribe. But it is the Ashkan who carries the amulet. The Ashkan who accepts responsibility for the safety of the tribe, who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. This is a sobering lesson, and I must give it thought. Don't want to be Ashkan? Give the axe and make a little speech. Thank you, your lesson is clear. Uh huh. Must give it some thought. Okay, don't want to be an Ashkan. Please, I don't want to be an Ashkan. Okay, let's go find the rest of the items that I didn't loot off their bodies. You, and you, and you. And, uh, okay, no more magical items there. You too. The wind of a haz. <laughs> uh, I don't know who haz was, but apparently his wind is uh, legendary. Don't want to be an Ashkan. Give the robe. There we go. Yes, I recognize it. And I shall name you Nerevarine. Thank you. I promise that as Ashkan, I shall do my best. To amend the dark reputation of the thing. I now name you, um, er Arab Arab Nerefarin, champion of the Arab and protector of the people. You must also go to the wise woman to get from her the seizing of the Arab ancient heirloom of the tribe, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that you have been named Nerefarin by this particular tribe. Cool. Okay. He is the Ashkan, and I am the Nerevereen. The first of the tribes names me Nerevereen. <laughs> um. I want the thing. 
Uh, yes. You were supposed to give me a thing. Oi! Ah, yes, that's the one. Here, take this enchanted token uh, of this tribe that... All may know that you have been named Nerevarine in Champion. Okay, seizing the what's its... Bleh. It's Umbra, still Sword, um... Boots of Blinding Speed! <laughs> uh, bitter Hand, Ember Hand, Ring of Night Eye... Ah, there it is. Telekinesis, 50 feet for 30 seconds on self. Alright, okay. That means you you can touch stuff that's 50 feet away. Don't know if that also includes attacks, but maybe. Anywho, it's gonna be a bit of a trek up to Zynop Cap. It's basically north from here if we follow along the coast. We should see it, and then to... Urshalaku. I'm never too busy for good talk. Of course you're not. Um, am I missing one? I think I'm missing one. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm already in the Riverine of the Urshalaku. Uh, she said to Pepe. Let's see. I'm just trying to figure out if I'm missing something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. No, um, and the Riverine, Urshalaku, yes, well, that's, those are the only Ashlander camp, ah, Ahemusa, there it is, that's the one I forgot, okay, so it's, uh, this one that I'm in, this one, and then this one, cool. Right, north we go then. <laughs> yes, not dead. And certainly not Tomb Raider. <laughs> okay, and we're out of the camp. There's a sign up there, but we want to go. I'm carrying a bit too much weight, but that's fine. It's fine. Oh, Canada! <laughs> Hello there, Scott. Uh -huh. So that's Tell Fear. Yes, yes it is. And that's a Kaguti. And that's Zynab Camp. Up ahead somewhere. Cool, that Kaguri seems to be um, running into that rock. A skeleton! With an iron shield that is now broken. And a wild guar. Okay, that skeleton was uh, Anda's ancestral tomb. Of course, it's the Chris Amare. <laughs> There's another skeleton. Will you attack me? Uh, I guess it won't attack me because it's in the wall. Oh, Bethesda. Wait. That wall looks like it was added there. I think that skeleton's supposed to be hidden. <laughs> that looks like a bone walker. Lock level 10. That one's unlocked, obviously. Oh, it's a Bone Lord! You know what? You stay there while I get the Umbra. And then I use the Umbra. Did that work? That worked. Okay. Please kill the Bogar. Yes, I have trapped a soul. <laughs> okay, where was that trapped? Um, there it is. 
It's a common soul. A bone lord is a common soul. Alright. Cool. Put the chrysomer back. Six bits of uh, bone meal. You had a lot of bones to be crushed. By my sword! Let's see, amulet of opening. I had one of them. And I wonder. Oh yes, that's why I don't have an amulet. I'm wearing the uh, teeth of the Urshalaku. Right on. And what is this? I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a belt. Right on. Okay, I can keep the belt. That's the spell I want, assuming I can cast it. It succeeded, eventually. Another Bone Lord. Trap chest. Skeleton and a Bone Lord upstairs. Come on down. Come on. Okay, the skeleton saw me and that skeleton's gonna claymore. I'm guessing that's a skeleton champion. <laughs> yes, yes it is. It's a silver claymore too. Nice. Them skeletons be packing. Common belt. Alchemy. Nice. <laughs> 50 in alchemy. That's good. That's very good. Redoran Watchman's Helm. Detect enchantments. Enchantment? Enchantment! No. I mean, that seems a bit like a bit of a waste. That may be a cue. That, that, that potion. Or... Not a cue, but a clue. Maybe there's an enchantment around here somewhere. Let's go... Look in the other... Uh, the other door. This skeleton seems really desperate to get out of there. Well, not just yet. I need to go outside to rest a little bit. <laughs> I mean, Scott has a point there. It is magic. They were reanimated by magic. So the way that they move and they hold things is that very same magic. Anywho. The door is unlocked. There's something behind it. It's a skeleton! Adra and Daedra. The Adra that they refer to are actually the gods, like Talos and the rest of them. Seriously, that doesn't look right. Feels like there should be something I do that m makes that not a thing anymore. Maybe it's a quest. Maybe I'm missing something. <laughs> I am killing Frank's extended family. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be terribly upset about it, so there's that. <laughs> Alright. I'm trying to figure out if there is something, anything, here. The corpse itself. There's one bit of gold and a detect enchantment potion. Hmm. Alright. I guess we'll just try and uh, gank that skeleton through the wall. Whatever the hell that is. Pillar? Uh. A skeleton champion with a silver longsword. Alright. Well, that's that then. 
<laughs> and uh, these corpses rising off the ground. And that cliff racer just hovering in place without flapping its wings. That's impressive. Not really, but yeah. Oh. There's a fishy. There's a fishy in very shallow water for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Still going the right way. It might be a while. So! Oh, that's an ogrim. That is an ogrim. Apparently, I'm high enough a level to spawn those now. Um. It, it's seen me. Where's Umbra? There it is. Umbra! Not that one. This one. They are not very tough. No, they are not. And they have a um, greater soul. Which means that that uh, grand soul gem is a bit of a waste. Let's not uh, trap the soul of another one. Yeah. I was expecting more of a fight, to be honest. But hey! <laughs> Going around with, um... Mostly a complete set of ebony armor. With the best gloves in the game. Yeah, I'm prepared to say that these are the best gloves in the game, because the Wraith Guard is really not that great. And the Mask of Clavicus Vile. Yeah. And the Chrysomere, obviously. <laughs> Oh yeah, if that's Shrek, uh, then um, <laughs> DreamWorks is gonna have uh, strong words for me. Is it DreamWorks? I can never remember. I always get him confused. It is DreamWorks, isn't it? Pixar is Toy Story, and um, Shrek is DreamWorks, I think. Yeah. <laughs> There's a scamp! A scamp! <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see some Zed fighting in the lava there. Because uh, screw setting uh, proper coordinates for the rendering of um, textures when you're this far off. I mean, it is trying, but it is pretty far away. And in the vanilla game, you wouldn't see it from this far away. Uh, that fog that you see up ahead in the uh, Daedric Ruins would be eh, right around where that cliff racer is. Just right around there. But one of the the advantages of uh, engine re-implementations is that you can do stuff like this. And yeah, if you don't go too overboard, the game actually works. You just can't push the uh, rendering um, and loading of exterior cells too far. Otherwise, you'll get um, those five second freezes or ten second freezes like I used to get. But yeah, the, this far out seems to be pretty good. Nick's Hound. And of course, uh, you know, it is a Bethesda game, so what do you do? You climb all the mountains. No, that's very green. That is very, very green. <laughs> Compared to, like, over there. Yeah. Anywho, that is kind of in the way of where we're going, so we're going to be stopping at that uh, stronghold. Ah, these are the Grayslands. <laughs> it's a shulk! It's a dead shulk! <laughs> a dead blighted shulk. I shall take his resin. It's resin. There's some people out by the fire. I am curious about the stronghold. Don't you worry. But, uh... 
<laughs> uh, well, they don't like me. But they weren't um, well equipped enough to deal with me. Shin Asimus. That's an unfortunate name. Adesha Ahanidiran. Ahanidiran. I can't. Nope. <laughs> I tried to pronounce that name, I couldn't. <laughs> Um, I guess it's a good thing that uh, voice acting in this game was uh, so few and far between. Because it would have been interesting to see some of the voice actors attempt some of these names. There's another fire. What if I go talk to those people? Will they try to kill me too? Yes, you did hear Inori. After I butchered that attempted pronunciation, she um thought it was funny. <laughs> Yes, they do want to kill me too. Go figure. And that, um, that sword's got very strong poison. Well, it's not strong, it just lasts a long time. Alright! Steel club. Cool. 50 gold. Not like I need just 50 gold, but eh, I'll take it. And I shall sleep by their campfire. And now, we get to explore the, um, thing during the day. Linux Nero is stuck in the subway. <laughs> oh yeah. Big city subway is always packed. Well, I found two camps around this stronghold. One of these, I'm guessing this building is a propylon chamber. Yep. The, this is like the old Dunmer fast travel system. You just use the uh, propylon indexes to go from... Well, to go from here, this is um, Fallen Serrano. And you go from here to Indorenian and to Telesero. If you, there's a quest, I think it's a, a Guild of Mages quest, to get the Master of Propylon Index. Which is worth getting. Er, that's trapped. Let's probe it. Come on, pull out the probe. There it is. <laughs> And Chris and Mayor. Hello. You're looking right at me and not attacking me. The better of me so go ahead. I got the better of you. Why is that? I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I am Elfadil Elfhewer. <laughs> He's a barbarian. And you can uh, talk to him about cave rats, about guards. Latest rumors, little secrets, Morrowind lore. About 50% of Vardenfell's inhabit inhabitants are Dunmer. The other halves are, yes. Uh, bear, Morrowind lore, his trade. He's a barbarian and proud of it. He likes the wilderness and knows how to live comfortably off the land, yeah. Nervereen. Word has gotten around about you and the prophecies. Most people think it's just harmless superstition not getting upset over. The temple feels otherwise, of course. They say you're all heretics. It's a difficult situation. Nord. We Nords of Skyrim are big, strong, stubborn, and hardy. We left a fight and are afraid of nothing. And Soul's time. They all say it's a terrible place. Right. <laughs> Okay, he didn't attack me, so... Live and let live. Type of deal. What's up here? I don't know why he trapped his door, but... Eh. To each their own, I suppose. Okay, that just brings us up here. You can see the pattern on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
Right, so what was on the other side? Because when we came in, we went left, so now we go right. Nothing there, just a torch. More torches, sturdy wooden door, and down we go. Torches, that's locked. Why is that locked? On Ducey's open door. Yes, that can open 50. There's an enemy behind this door. Cool. Huh. Unlocked it on the first go. Nice. Ooh. Ow, 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 ow. Ah! I got stuck in the terrain. <laughs> That's not fair. That's a storm metronoc. <laughs> Holy crap, that deals a lot of damage. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> Ever restore health. There's a restore health. Okay, there's another restore health. Wow, that deals a lot of damage. <laughs> Freaking storm atronox, man. <laughs> Ooh. That is possibly the strongest thing I've killed thus far. Um I could have paralyzed it. That's a Dramora. Come here then. He didn't put up much of a fight. He does have an ebony short sword. I shall take it. That's 10,000 gold that it's worth. And he didn't even hit me with it, so should have maximum durability. It's dark. It's very dark. Can I cast some light? Uh, 9% chance to cast that particular spell. Okay. Yes, I can not cast some light. Should have brought one of the torches from the barrel. Another... Drew more. I don't want to risk another store matronog while I'm dealing with this one. Okay. Uh, it's a dwarven warhammer. You can keep it. That's not very um, pricey. Strong. Lower level. Right. That's the door where we want to go. Let's see what's on the other side then. Yes, I know, it's a bit of a detour on the way to the thing, but that's what I do. <laughs> it's what this game does to me. It's like, just go, explore. I think I'm lost. I see you. Why don't you attack me? How do you do? I don't think we've been introduced. She's a witch. Are you the one who's been summoning all these people? I'm a witch! I've bound myself by oath and deed to the service of a Daedra Lord, and in return I've received gifts of knowledge and power. The temple calls my patrons the bad Daedra, and perhaps they aren't very nice. But I guess I'm not very nice either. If you are curious and not afraid, I can tell you a little bit about the bad Daedra and Daedric summonings. Cool. Ever been a successful adventurer? The, uh... Yes, Divine Intervention Scrolls are good. Yes, yes, they are. Some architecture is unmistakable. Big, dark, gray stone, ruins, funny angles, funny markings, and the patterns in the stone. Weird, oval, crooked doors, and inside, all the funny angles. Yes, those are most certainly... Um, Daedric ruins. At first, it seemed the fuss about the Nerevarine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that the Dunmer have been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the temple goes out, hunts him down, reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? 
Because uh, with the Nerevarine, it means that basically the temple's job is forfeit. Oh, there's another door to the lower level. Hold right on. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm not lost. That's the way up. That goes down. That goes also down. Let's go. This one's locked, so let's go to this one. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you very much uh, for following us, roadies. Stick around. There's plenty of uh, Linuxy goodness to go around. Let's see. Was I... Mm. I can just rest, right? Resting here is illegal, but I just need my stamina back. Bit overkill. What the hell's that? Oh, it's a Daedroth. Right. Hello. You have very strong poison. Please don't do that again. And a Daedra. Well, this uh, Daedric Shrine looks suspiciously well lit. There's someone else downstairs. That's a Dremor Lord. And he's got a Claymore. Fortunately for him, mine's better. Yeah. <laughs> Dwarven Claymore, yeah. If I had found one of those earlier in the game, I might have used it. But, as it currently stands, that chest is trapped, as is that one. The probe! <laughs> no, not that one. That one. Trap disarmed. You can do it. There it is! <laughs> Put the Chris of Mare back on. Corpse preparation. Mm-hmm. Corpse preparation. Right. Okay. Ooh, potion of light. That might be useful. Um, levitate. 500 points. 60 seconds on self. <laughs> I mean, for a minute, you get to basically fly through the air. That's nice. Of the blood thief. Flame guard, calm creature. Gimme! Flynn and grief. Extravagant sapphire amulet. And some extravagant clothing there. <laughs> and an exquisite amulet. It's over for me, apparently. I mean, I don't see it, but maybe she has a point? I don't know. Anywho, um, shield, burden. The incident in Necrom gives me some illusion, which is like one of the uh, magical things that I know nothing of. Cool. They have some bones in the dark. Well, I guess this is what they do to um, the people that walk in here. I guess torches? Torches, right. Nope. Oh. The other two urns had some very, very pricey scrolls, so hello. <laughs> right. That's where I came from. So... Yes, you should enjoy a great deal many things. Why don't you come around this corner, please? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you should enjoy a great deal number of things. In another life. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, that's why they're there. It's a pit. Right on. So where does the other door lead? If this one just goes to the pit and... They drop people down there, and then they use their bodies for some Daedric stuff. Where does the other door go? Let's find out. I do have a potion of light. I picked that up. 
And Night Eye. Yeah, there you go. Night Eye. <laughs> I can see better in the dark. It reminds me of the, um. That, um. Those night vision goggles in Doom and Doom 2. Will I now? Well, that's just not fair. <laughs> oh, I see what they're doing. So, he dropped down. Come on. Fight. I will fight. You're the one who ran away from me. <laughs> Steel flame blade. And nothing else interesting. Right on. Cool. <laughs> In that case, out we go. Night eye is going away, and we're back into dark. With the uh, theme music for Morrowind to carry us out. You know, I keep saying this, but um, despite Bethesda's many, 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 many faults, um, picking Jeremy Soul for the soundtrack was a very, very good idea. <laughs> 90 acrobatics, and I still can't jump that. <clears throat> Maybe on this side, just because I don't want to go around. Hey, there it is. Smack. So slow, that Kahuti. Look at it. It's in slow motion. The poor thing. Alright. I take pity on thee. Maybe he'll just keep following me and not let me rest ever. <laughs> just because I let it live. Alright, we're almost at the camp. That's good. Yeah, still following me. Very slowly, but he is. Nyx Hound up there. Yeah, that is Red Mountain. Cool. No, he gave up. I don't know. Eh, Shulk. Not much happening around here. Not much at all. But hey, the camp is right up ahead. See what other kind of fetch quest these people will have me do. I know that getting the, um, the great houses to call your tater is a pain. There is one that's really easy that all you have to do is strip naked so that the dude can look at you. And once you do that, uh, he'll name you a whore tater. I'm not joking. That, 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 that. <laughs> yes. With a W. The whore tater. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, that, that is legitimately something you can do. <laughs> Please go ahead out there. Hello. So, I'm guessing the one with the mat is the wise woman? Yes, yes it is. Good assumption. Walk with virtue, Outlander. I am Sunumu Zabamat, wise woman of the Zainab. If you come for my services, or my counsel, I sell potions and spells, charms and marvels, and I can teach some of what I know, if you can pay. Ah, she doesn't teach, uh, she doesn't teach? No, she does teach. She does indeed teach some spells. There we go. I managed to get that out of my mouth. Okay, cure poison. Cure poison could be interesting. Listen, dude. 
Right, council. So you are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. Then my counsel is simple and free. Speak to Asha Ashkan Koshad. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of SHs. Um, for he has a great c curiosity about you. Um, Nerevarine prophecies. We heard rumors. Some outlander says he is a Nerevarine. So you are that outlander? What do you say to that, A? Eh? Tell my story and the proofs. Hmm. Is that all true? That's a very interesting ring. Um, it is part of the story of Nerevar, the ring, moon, and star. That none may wear but Nerevar himself. You should talk to... person. Popcraft PC. Thanks for the follow. Stick around. Plenty of Linuxy goodness to go around. Um, you should talk to Ashkan Koshad. Yes, sir. Uh, the Ashkan is very curious about this outlander who claims to be Nerevarin. Cool. Let's go talk to the Ashkan then. The Ashkan. Not you. Not you. This one. Hello. Walk with virtue. Um, the Outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. You are welcome to our hospitality, Outlander, but you must tell us. How can an Outlander be the Nerevarine? We've heard the rumors. We know you to be the Outlander who claims to fulfill the prophecies. But teach us. How could an Outlander be the Nerevarine? Tell your story, show your proofs, ask to be named Nerevarine. Oh, excuse me, do not think me rude, but seriously, do you believe this story yourself? I kind of lived it. I even, you know, streamed it, so it's all on YouTubes. Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, no offense, but you must admit you are an outlander, completely ignorant of our ways. Oi! How could you ever be our war leader? What sensible Ashkan would ever choose you to lead the tribes? Oh, ho. um, persuade that you are the one. Skies above. If talk were wealth, you'd make me rich. Do you ever get tired of talking? Okay, no, persuasion doesn't work. Unless I give him a hundred gold, and I should rest and meditate on what I have learned. Let's see. Tell a story. Persuade. No. All right. Fine. Tell your story. Ask for the thing. Very well. A vampire named Calvario has taken refuge... Yes, literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, has taken refuge in the nearby Nerano ancestral tomb. If you are worthy as you say you are, it should be a small matter for you to dispose of this vampire. There. You have your task. Now perhaps you would leave me in peace for a bit? Look, I could have left you long ago if you just said, Yeah, you're the Ner uh, Nerevarine, go to the wise woman, get the thing, Yeet. And I would have been on my way. Right, Calvario. He's a vampire. A young one, but quite dangerous. As I'm sure an adventurer of your wide experience would know. Probably driven out of his lair by older, more powerful vampires. I would never offer advice to someone of your reputation, but perhaps a visit to the potion maker and enchanters of Tel Vos and Tel Mora might be in order. I don't use them myself, but they say potions and scrolls can be quite handy in a tight spot. Right? And where's that? Narano Ancestral Tomb is to the north. But you are a stranger and may get lost. Listen. Go west until you reach the mountains, then turn north, follow the mountains, keeping them on your left. When you pass the ruins of Nechaleft, keep your eyes to the east, looking for an entrance flanked by two trees on the western slope of a hill in the center of the Graceland's. That will be Nerano Ancestral Tomb. Was that the one I was just in? No, it couldn't have been the one I was just in. Right, so you remember what he said? Um, see, N. N. Nerano Ancestral Tomb. North, or Stranger. So, to the north. So, if we go west and then north, keeping the mountains to the west. Right. That's east, that's west. Towards the mountains. Yes, Outlander. How do you do? 
I need to rest. But I shall rest once I am out of the camp. I could just rest anywhere. That's fine. No one cares if I sleep out in the wilderness. Okay, I guess this is the path he was talking about. There it is. I see it. <laughs> Blighted Nick's Hound. Yep. Uh, this was about time. They were up to, what, RC5? So, yeah, I guess, good thing. Uh, right on. Let's see, let's rest right here. My rest got interrupted by a wild guar. And, uh, our speed is at 69. <laughs> the sexiest of speeds. Uh... <laughs> Right, I shall take willpower and personality. Or maybe endurance and personality. No, willpower. Yeah, willpower is good. Tridening? Tridening? However you say your name, thanks for the follow. Stick around. Plenty of Linuxy stuff happening. Uh, right. Venom. No. This isn't the ancestral tomb. <laughs> But it... It's flanked by two trees. It was Nerano Ancestral Tomb. Wasn't it? Keeping your eyes to the east. Alright, we're gonna go into this one. Let's see if Calvario's in here. Lock level 100. Entrapped. Nope, not here. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to come back here at some other point. Uh, <laughs> okay, so if we keep the mountains to the west and our eyes to the east, there should be another tomb that's flanked by two trees. That place isn't flanked by two trees, is it? Yeah. Um, it's to the north. I mean, that was completely to the north of the... Th oh, God. Right! There's a tent. I mean, that, that, that right there looked to be the place. <laughs> These diseased animals and their poison. Oh, hello there, Mr. Ogrim. Sorry, Shrek. Not today. Right. That's some really good looking ruins. Uh, in any case. This isn't the north anymore. <laughs> it's like the north east at this point, so let's go that way. That's Telmora, I think. You two. Ow. <laughs> right. Hello. <clears throat> you forced my hand, Kitbael. Why does that name sound familiar? Something about that guy. Probably a quest. And anyway, I probably just solved it, so... <laughs> if I ever f uh, get the quest to come and kill him... Done. F 
flanked by two trees. That one was straight up flanked by two trees. You will I'm sure I will. But not today. Or tonight, as the case may be. Uh, nothing there. Where's the doom? <laughs> Uh, this is north, sort of. So, going north, keeping the mountains to the west. I need to go and check those ruins at some point. Keep your eyes to the east. Nerano ancestral tomb. To the north, you're a stranger, may get lost, listen, go west from the camp until you reach the mountains, then turn north, follow the mountains, keeping them to your left. When you pass the ruins of Nakhla. <laughs> the ruins of Nakhla. <laughs> These are the ruins of Nakhla. <laughs> Yeah, see? The Nechlaf ruin. Right. So, when I pass the ruins... So, if we walk past the ruins... Lowe's. Oh, there you are. I was wondering why the combat music was still there. Keep your eyes to the east. And the mountains to your west. Yes. But it's only my west. <laughs> Uh -huh. I see a lot of trees, but no tomb. And that Kaguri over there, too. Come on! Okay. Where's the tomb? Is that the tomb? That can't be the tomb. Is that the... No. That doesn't look like a tomb. That looks like a mine, and this just looks like it's a runoff from the sewers up in Telmora. Telvos. Not Telmora. Yep, that's an egg mine. Which I shall leave very, very much alone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Nerano Ancestral Tomb. Alright. This one's not locked. That's a freaking. Oh, God. And of course, it drains my strength. Because, screw me, and the horse I rode in on. Gonna have to drop some things. Some things. Do I have anything to restore my strength? Restore health? Fatigue? Magica? <laughs> Fortify strength? For 50 points? Ah! There we go. Yes. Restore my strength. Thank you. I hate bone walkers because of that ability, and it's permanent too. You, you have to restore your attributes somehow. Yes, yeah, skeletons. I'll take skeletons. Come on. Very good use of the shield there, but it doesn't help you. I should have rested before I waltzed in here. Okay. This is Skeleton Champion. That was just a warrior. That explains that then. Can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. Right here. Go away. Okay. 
we're rested. Let's have at the false come. Athletics, 64. North from Babarak. You boys better clear out. Our position was given away and we were raided by that bastard Gorus. He sent a small band of the dead to drill us and wiped out all but Lovin. He was able to make it back here. Uh, I'm sending Ursin to deliver this message to you. She will deliver a key so you can gain entry into the rendezvous point. See you soon and good luck, brother. Where's the key? What was the name? Ursin. It's one of these bodies. Hello. Indoran Tomb. Right on. That's Morris. That's the key to the Nerano chest. This one? Yes, indeed. That's just a common amulet. I'll take the gold. Alright, cool, cool. I read that. I saw that it was trapped. Why didn't I do something about it? Anywho, cure poison on self. Yay! <laughs> That's why I bought that spell. There he is! Calvario the Vampire. He's got a lot of HP. And Vampire Dust. Right up. That's that taken care of. Resist fire. Scamp skin, stone flower petals, and wickweed. I'll take the wickweed. I resisted the magic, whatever that was. Iron boots. Whoa. <laughs> yes, the decided lack of uh, sparkly bits. Okay, I suppose that's that. Um, and I got the keys for that chest that had a common amulet in there and the key for the Androno tomb, which was not that tomb that had the uh, 100 lock on it. That was the Venom tomb. Yes. Anywho. Okay, so now we go back and uh, ask him to be made Nerevreen. Friggin' fetch quest, goddammit. <laughs> At least in the previous camp, just, yeah, go there, kill the Ashkan, and everyone who supports him. There. Done. Cool. Alright. Shulks. As a rat. So now we just go south. South, back to sign up camp. And as I'm doing that, I figure, you know what? This is probably a good time to start saying um, a farewell, adieu, and uh, that I shall see you tomorrow because tomorrow we will have Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. That's where uh, we take that midweek break. To bring you all the Linuxy news. Anything that's not necessarily connected to gaming, because of course gaming is uh, it's the big show. It's a Saturday show. It's Linux Gamecast Weekly, obviously. But before we get to Saturday, we also have Thursday, which Jordan does a stream, and of course on Friday, Ven does the Friday night foobar. So stick around. There's a uh, schedule on linuxgamecast.com that you should totally check out if you want to know when streams happen and when, you know, shows are likely to be recorded if you want to join us live. If not, feel free to catch us on YouTube. It's Linux Gamecast on YouTube. Easy enough uh, to find. So, thank you everyone for joining me and we shall continue this <sighs> glorified fetch quest that the main quest of Morrowind turns into uh, next Tuesday. Hmm? Yes. Unless something else interesting happens in the meantime and I get uh, get to do a bit of a different stream as a uh, 
preparation for something else that may happen very, very soon. But yes, that's enough foreshadowing. I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.